Hey guys, it's Second Chance Stables here, and it has actually been forever. Like, this is crazy. Like, I have not made a video in forever, and I'm so sorry. I was actually going to upload my barn tour a couple weeks ago, but my computer completely crashed, and I actually just gave up, and I was like, alright, whatever. But I finally fixed it and I decided to just remake this barn tour because I like speaking to myself in a room with plastic ponies. Um, so yeah, so as I say always, for those of you tuning in, my horses live on a bookshelf. Um, they have a pretty comfy life, they get fed twice a day, they go out to the pasture, it's all great. Um, and I have some fairy lights in the back, they're actually Christmas lights um, that I taped up. I don't know how, but... I did it, so kudos to me, and um, yeah, I love them very much, and I love you guys all very much for sticking by me and always putting up with my weirdness and my kind of lame jokes that I think are really, really funny, but you know, that's cool. Also, I feel like I'm rambling because I'm literally talking to myself in a room, but I do that all the time, so that is okay. Um, and this is just a notice or a PSA or whatever. I am starting junior year this year and for those of you that know, junior year is absolute hell um, because on top of APs I have the SATs, the ACTs, and I have to try to get into a college or try to make myself look presentable enough for a college to take me. Um, so I really don't know if I can post at all this year, but I will definitely try to get a Christmas barn tour up because I love making those and I know you guys love them. So yeah. So, I feel like I've rambled long enough now, so I'm just going to get started. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching. Okay, so this is the entrance, um, as per usual. And there's just a sign that says, Welcome to Second Chance Stables. And this is the bottom level of my bookshelf. And we have the Marin Full Barn. We have the uh, mini paddock. We have the driveway. And then we have the border barn. Um, so this is what it looks like. So I actually, um, this is kind of embarrassing. I forgot some of the horses' names because it's been such a long time. So I printed out a little sheet to help me remember. But I guess we'll start here. Uh, so this is our Mustang Diablo and he's just out in turnout right now. Um, he's just being a brat as per usual because that's how he rolls. Um, okay, over here. Oh, I put a mailbox here, and I was like, that's pretty cute, and now that I'm thinking about it, like, do barns have mailboxes? Cause like, what if you're like, hey, I want to order some hay, and they're like, okay, let's just put it in there, like, that's not gonna work. Um, but anyways, um, this is our driveway, and we just have, I didn't even close the roof of the car, oh well, we just have Nick driving out with Dexter the puppy in the background, um, and this weird looking pole is supposed to be a little road bump or speed bump so that these cars don't go like 80 miles per hour and kill a horse. Um, okay, and over here, uh, this should be chained, but okay. Um, this is our little walkway that goes from the arena to the border barn. So it's like a direct passageway. And right now we have Nate who is leading back Lady, our Hanoverian mayor. Um, and she's just all dolled up in some fancy schmancy tack. This took me 30 years to put on, so please appreciate it and look at it and then make, I don't know, make some nice comments so I feel like I didn't waste 30 years of my life. But yeah, anyways, this is our border barn. Um, I did make this barn. Um, I don't know when I made it. I made it some time ago. I don't know how I made it, honestly. I'm so rusty because I haven't touched any tack making um stuff or ribbons or leather and it's I don't know I feel really rusty um and they basically are sliding doors I guess I could slide this one open they slide like that Ta-da! and it looks like that um and in here we have we have a horse um oh we have Lucy uh okay got it this is Lucy she is, I think, part of the eventing set, um, and she just is chilling out right now because she just got back from being ridden. She is sweaty, um, and that's just her bridle hanging there. Um, over here, we just have a stable hand just cleaning out some poop because what a great life that is. 
Um, and then in these two stalls, we have some more horses. And in the the tiny Dartmoor is oh, this is really embarrassing. He's not Dandy. I always get it mixed up with Dandy. Um, uno momento, por favor. His name is Teddy. Oh my God, I'm so bad. This is embarrassing. I'm sorry. I love you guys. Um, this is Teddy. I love Teddy. I knew Teddy's name. That's cool. Lit. All right, moving on. Uh, this is Teddy, and right now he's just chilling with our collie Lassie, who likes making friends, like me. But she's having a hard time, but also like me. Anyways, moving on. This is Wind Dancer. This is one of my favorite horses ever. He is the Pinto Stallion. Uh, I know Schleich made a new Pinto Stallion, but TBH, I don't really like it that much, and I think this one is a lot cuter. That's just my opinion, don't attack me. And he just has a bunch of tack out. Um, this is Emily's horse, and Emily is actually riding another horse, so he being cheated on, but it's cool. Um, so he just has all his fancy schmancy tack here, and he's just looking out into the wall, because that is what he likes to do. Okay, I guess we will make our way over here. Um, okay, so before this barn tour, I actually had not made anything new, and I was like, bro, if I don't make anything new, I'm gonna feel like a loser. So I decided to just put together these leashes to put the dogs on because I know I always have a bunch of dogs walking around and I was like, that's kind of weird. Like, what if a dog runs off and scares a horse? So I have some of them on leashes now. So he can go that way and then he can't go any further. <laughs> um, but this is our golden retriever, I think, or he's a Labrador. Um, he's something, anyways. And this is the Mare Fulburn, and we just have the Shetland Mare Gucci walking out. I don't know what she was doing there, but it's cool. And back here we have the Schleich wash stall. Um, I actually really like this wash stall. I know I'm not using it right now because there's no horses there. But it is actually very cute and pretty realistic, and I really like the matting on here. That white stuff was snow that I couldn't get out. So, you know what? It's still Christmas in September at Second Chance Thieves. <laughs> um, okay, over here. We have our mares and our foals in the mare and foal barn, as the name implies. Um, okay, and in the first stall, we have Calico and her foal Diamond. Um, she is the Camargue mare. She's pretty cute, and by pretty, I mean really cute. So if you guys don't have her, you should get her because she is pretty fine. Um, in this stall, we have Cloud, the Libazon on her mare, and her foal Flicka. I think Cloud was one of the first horses that I ever got, so... Um, I started off with three. I started off with the Libazon or Marin Stallion and then the Tennessee Walker Stallion and my collection just grew from there. So to be honest, like you can start small and then just make your way up. Life hack um, <laughs> when you get deep during your like bar tour. Okay. Um, and then in the back we have the Tinkers. That is the Tinker Mare Memory and her full <laughs> who does not have a name. I'm gonna call him Cow. This is her full cow. Um, he's a real cutie, and he's just looking out. And over here, we have the Andalusians. And then the mama is Amethyst, and the foal is cow number two. <laughs> I never named these foals, and I feel so bad, but oopsie. Um, over here is our Shetland pony mare. Uh, what is her name? going on? I know it starts with an A. It's Arwen. All right. I remember because it's cute. This is Arwen and this is her full bow. Okay, let me tell you something. <laughs> this is the cutest thing in the world. Do you see this? It's adorable. It is cute. Okay. Um, but yeah, so this is my first level. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, you have three more to go, so I hope you don't die. All right, see you up. Okay, so you made it to the second level and this is one of my favorites it is probably one of my most favorite level out of the four um and uh we have our main stable um we have our tack up area and we have our arena um okay so i guess we'll just start from here because i'm already here so i also made this barn myself um it's from wood pops because it's glue and some hay and a lot of love um okay so in our first doll we have our second Tinker Mare. Her name is Arya. Um, she is one of the newer models, I believe. She is definitely worth getting. 
Um, I will pull her out so you can see her. That is what she looks like. She is pretty cute. Um, and I don't know if she would do well in the arena simply because she's a tinker and they're not really made for riding as much. Um, they're usually used as draft horses, but she's definitely good to have. Over here is Samson. He is the retired thoroughbred gelding, I believe. I am not sure. Please correct me. Um, and he is named after one of my favorite horses, Samsonite, who I love dearly. I'm a barn. Um, and over here is Quickstar, and he's just getting checked out by the vet right now. And they're just doing that, and he's being a little creeper. That's me when I try to make friends. I'm just like, hi there. I'm just going to smell your ear now. Okay, anyways, moving on. Over here is Moondance, which is short for Moondance Alexander, which is a horse movie that I used to love, like, three years ago. I still love it now. I just, I like it because it's really cute and inspirational and it makes me happy. So you guys should check it out. I'm pretty sure it is on YouTube because that's where I watched it. Um, over here is April and she's the retired quarter horse mare. Um, she's also a darling. I got her in a trade with someone and I was so grateful that they traded with me because honestly getting a hold of retired horses is really, really hard. Okay. All right, over here um, is Silver, who is a brat. He's the Andalusian stallion, and his tail is mad long, so I can't put him anywhere because he just, like, bumps into everything. And I'm like, okay, bro. But he's in the stall right now. He's chilling. He's having fun. And over here, we have Lightning, our Andalusian, no, Lip is Honor stallion. Got him. And he doesn't like to look at people. He likes to look at the wall. Um, so that's what he's doing. Great. All my horses are weird. Okay. Um, okay, and this is King, our Aquatique Stallion, and he getting some grooming on his booty um, right now, and he looks pretty happy. Um, and over here is just a tack stand with some tack on it. So, yep, that's it. And over here we get to our tack-up area. Um, this is a pretty sweet area. I really like it. It makes me kind of happy. I don't know, I just like the colors and stuff, I'm weird. Over here is Dude, he's our Hanoverian Stallion, and Victoria is just tacking him up for a lesson. Um, I know in my series I made her look really mean, but she can be pretty nice like 2% of the time. So that counts for something. Um, and over here we have our, I forgot what she was called. She's like a, what is she? This is a struggle. I know she has a cute name that I probably named after Game of Thrones that I can't remember. So I will be right back while I try to search this up. Okay, hi guys. I just literally watched my Christmas barn tour because I couldn't remember her name. This is embarrassing. Anyways, this is Sansa, our Bosch Care Curly Mare. I knew that. And she is actually adorable. Like, I am not joking. Like, I did not like most of the Schleich horses that came out, but this one is cutie, so we better get her. She is getting groomed right now. We have a nice little grooming kit, fly spray, uh, show sheen, all that fancy stuff. And back here we have some dog food. And in here we have extra boots. Back there are some extra hay nuts, extra blah, blah, blah. We have some extra halters here. Some flower pots just chilling. And this is our tack room. And we have some saddles, some girths, some bridles, etc. And over here is our little pole storage area where we keep all our poles for our lessons. Um, it does get kind of messy sometimes, but we try to keep it real neat. And over here, I did move the gate down because I thought it would make more sense to have something that opens and closes so we don't lose any lives because safety is important. Um, and over here is our Frisian Stallion. This is Cobalt. No, this is not Cobalt. This is Mystery. Cobalt literally got his eye like removed by my dog, so Cobalt is no more with us. Um, and over here we just have uh, some timetables. So we have the horse and what lessons they're in. Um, usually the easier lessons are around 4.30 to 5.30 and then we have some of the more advanced dropping lessons at 7.30. Um, so this is just so we know which horses go where. And we're going to move on to the arena, which is my favorite part because I really like setting this up okay so this is what it looks like um, right now we have a cute little gymnastics setup just a cross rail 
um, a vertical and then a little oxer. Um, and this is our trainer's booth where we usually have uh, trainers sit in, but sometimes they actually like to be inside the ring, which is the case today. So it's a pretty busy lesson today, um, which is good because who doesn't love riding, honestly. <sighs> I just had to yawn and then I didn't have to yawn and then I had to yawn and I was like, okay, should I stop? Should I press the pause button? But then I was like, maybe I should yawn. Okay, anyways, moving on. I didn't have to yawn. Fun fact. All right, <laughs> this is Maybelline. She's the lip is on her mirror. Um, and she's just getting ridden by Eliza. Um, she's a really good horse. She's perfect for jumping. Good transitions, good everything, really calm, not like a mare, so she ain't a brat, like every other horse we have. Um, over there is Encore, he is the Tennessee Walker Stallion. Uh, if you know, he doesn't look like the actual Schleich one, which is because uh, he's a custom. I think I got two, or I got one for my birthday and I already had uh, the Tennessee Walker, so I was like, oh, maybe I should paint him up. So he's just getting ridden right now. Um, and he's being a good boy for once in his life. Okay, and over here we have Ricochet on, <laughs> we have Emily on Ricochet, not Ricochet and Emily. <laughs> Oops. Um, and they are just about to go over this. Little gymnastics. Little thing we got set up here, a little fancy stuff. Um, and she is one of our best riders. Like, she's pretty bomb. She's amazing, she jumps anything. And that is her horse down there. Um, and this is one of our new trainers. Uh, he doesn't have a name, so we'll call him cow number three. Um, and cow number three is just instructing him, her, on how to go over these gymnastics. And over here we have Lisa on ace, um, our Camark stallion, and he is just trotting around the ring like a good boy. Um, and back there we have one of our other trainers, if you can see him. Hi buddy, how's it going? Um, and he is actually teaching Eliza right now, so he's just keeping an eye on her, on her. So yeah, so this is this level, so I guess we will go up. Hey, you're almost halfway done with me, yay. All right, so I can finally stand like a normal human being now and not die. This is our third level. Over here we have our wash stalls, um, our little paddock, uh, another tacking area. This is our main stables. And over here we have another paddock and some outdoor stalls. So, I really like this level. Um, I always try to make it a little fancy. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll start here because I'm over here. Um, this is our Tennessee Walker mare, Bella, and she right now is just standing because she's not attached to cross ties because I don't know why. Um, okay, let's see. Can I get one on and try to make it look like she had one on? Ta-da, she has one cross tie on. That was part of the plan all along. She's just getting a little bath right now. We have a little sweat scraper, some sponges, some water in there, and she's getting all that stinky off her. And we have Maple in this one because Maple next. Uh, she hates baths and she tried to run away, but it's not gonna work, so that's it. This is our Tennessee Walker Stallion Trickster. He's one of the first horses I've ever gotten. I love him so much. Um, I don't just love him because he's my favorite, like my first horse, I just love him because I love the way he's positioned. I love his coloring, his shading, everything. He's a cutie. And he's just getting ridden by Max. Um, and he got some Western tack going on right now. That's what it looks like. And he's just in a hackamore. Um, this is our one of our smaller paddocks. And we just have our Arabian mare, Snow Angel. And she's just in here chilling with some of the foals while their mamas are out lessening. Um, and as per usual, I do not remember the fool's names. Oh, I do remember hers. Hers is Jubilee, but I do not remember her. Actually, you're Jive. I'll send me like, this is cow number four, and this is cow number five. We have a lot of cows here. Um, but yeah, and she, <laughs> Snow Angel is just getting a carrot from Karen. Um, and over here we have Moonlight getting led in uh, to the barn, <laughs> and we have another doggy on a leash, because I tried to make it look that's a leash and we just have a little sign right here that just says notice this is an equine facility blah blah blah, blah, blah all that and over here we have some happy hoof feed we got a blanket we have some ribbons up here um, and this is Avalon and she's just getting led out for a lesson I presume which is why she's tacked up and she this they're really rocking this blue and black thing so pretty solid hashtag aesthetic 
Um, and over here we have our Napster from Mare. Uh, her name is Calamity, and her show name is Wild Heart, which I really like. She just came back from a show, and she is champion. Look at that. Um, so she's just chilling in there right now. She has all her attacks just hanging up here, and for some reason, Emily's attack box is also here. And over here, we get to our personal stallion. This is Dante, um, and he is sweetheart. He's just, I don't know, he just likes eating and looking out the window. And there's some bridles hanging from his stall. Um, over here, we have another paddock. So this one still has felt in it. Um, I'm trying to replace all of them with this more, like, realistic looking grass, but I ran out, so I gotta cop some when I go next time. Um, and this is Ireland, our Shetland, not Shetland, our Shire Stallion. Um, and he's just romping around. Um, over here we have some more mares and foals, and as you may have guessed, I might have forgotten foals' names. So this is our Appaloosa mare, Dakota, and this is her foal cow number four. And this is our Percheron mare, Eclipse, and her foal, Stormy. Um, and Stormy just likes looking at the pretty horses. So we have our Napster per stallion, Jupiter, here, and they're just going out for a ride. And we have um, another girl whose name I don't remember, so she will be cow number five. Um, and on our Dartmoor Pony Mare, Arizona. And they're just going out for a hack, and we have our Golden Retriever just following them along. Okay, so that is this level, so we have one more to go, so, all right. Okay, so this is our last level. Um, over here, we have the Big Red Barn, we have our main pasture, we have some more outdoor stalls, and we just have our little parking area. Um, and I guess we'll start here, so. We have a trailer just in right now. It just came back from a show and it's just getting cleaned out. Just looks like that. And if you look this away, we have a little dachshund just peeping out. Um, back here, we have another parking area. And right now, I mean parking spot, our cart is just in there. Um, over here is just a little awards area for when we do shows. Um, and we have our little rabbits here. We have Thumper, Oreo, Poncho, and Coco. And they just chillin'. And this is our fell pony mare. Um, I think she's the fell pony mare. I don't remember her name. I hate myself. Okay, moving on. I will probably remember at some point later. Um, this is a, just our little beagle, and they just looking at each other. They're in love. Um, over here we have General, our Luisano stallion, and we have a little tiny pony right here. Oh, it's it's focusing on the wrong part. Um, but that's Arrow in the back, and this is Bamboo's butt. Uh, this is Bamboo or Palomino Stallion. And right now we just have the boys out in the pasture. It's pretty big. They have some fun. That is Nike, our Fjord Stallion. Back there is Argo, our Chinker Stallion. And over here is our Hanoverian Stallion, whose name is, whose name is, whose name is, Jazz or a cow number five, depending on how long it took. <laughs> and we just have our Arabian halters just chilling here. And this is our Appaloosa Stallion Colorado, and he's just looking out. And in there we have our trained pony Dandy, and we have I think a calf, um, a piglet, and we have our Tennessee Walkie Walker yearlings. <laughs> okay, so that is my fourth level. So this is my board tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm sorry it was late. I'm sorry I was not alive all of this year because I don't know, I'm just a loser. And I am really grateful every, every day that I have such supportive people like you watching my videos and leaving comments and liking my photos and making me feel really happy, especially when I'm stressed out about school because school sucks. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and I don't know when the next time I will see you guys because I could be dead from schoolwork. But I will try very, very, very hard to get a Christmas barn tour out um, because I genuinely love Christmas and I genuinely love making these ponies look cute in Christmas stuff. So um, that's my goal. And I hope um, all of you have an amazing year at school and an amazing year at whatever you are pursuing, whether it is horseback riding or uh, I don't know, dog walking or cake baking or 
rock killing. I don't know. I ran out of words. Anyways, um, thank you so so much for watching. Give it a like. Give it a comment. Give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you want to. Um, and I love you all. So thank you so so much for watching. Peace out.